Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video today. Really, this is just an announcement letting you guys know that the DistroTube Discord server no longer exists. I've decided to go ahead and just delete my Discord channel, mainly due to the fact that I'm never there. And because I'm never there, I can't really moderate it or anything. I don't want to be there. I don't want to moderate it. <laughs> I don't want to be on Discord anyway. So it just made sense for me to go ahead and delete my Discord channel because I don't really chat. I'm not a chatter. I don't chat on any uh, internet chat platforms. I don't hang out on Discord or IRC or Matrix or Rocket Chat or <laughs> any of that stuff. Because typically when I'm at my computer, I'm working. I don't want chat windows of any kind. I don't want to have any kind of notifications or anything. I just don't have time when I'm at the computer working. Now, if I was just sitting at my computer, just hanging out, that would be okay. But I don't typically do that. Because I, I spend so much time at the computer doing things like videos, you know, making content for the YouTube and library channels that when I have some free time, I'm not going to hang out in a chat room. <laughs> That's not fun to me. That's not what I would enjoy doing. I would actually hate every second of that. So uh, originally when I created the Discord server, really it was when my channel was very, very small. I probably had 5,000 subscribers at the time and it just seemed like the thing to do. I needed a Discord account anyway because sometimes I needed to meet people on Discord, maybe for a, a video chat call or something, maybe to interview somebody or maybe to, that they're interviewing me. Everybody has a Discord account. And especially some of the gaming streams that I did, especially in the early days of the channel, were community gaming streams where we'd all get together and play a game and we could actually chat with each other in the Discord voice channel. And because that's what gamers do, most gamers also have Discord <laughs> installed. So it made sense for me to at least have a Discord account. And that's why I created the Discord server initially. But I never really used it. I mean, I probably log into Discord three times a year. <laughs> That's probably, you know, in the last three years with the history of the channel, I'm, I've been doing the YouTube channel now for about three years now. I've probably logged into Discord 10 times, maybe ever to actually do anything on my Discord server. Most of the time when I go to Discord, it's usually for support forms for other projects. You know, I need help and their official support forms are their Discord channels or I need to meet with somebody for an interview or something and we just meet on Discord. I never go to my Discord server and because of that, I've been messaged probably half a dozen times in the last year or so about things that go on in the Discord channel. Somebody was mean to me. I did, don't like the language this person used. This person is rude. Uh, some of the things being posted are political or religious or, you know, I've got one today that didn't like one of the channels that was going on. I actually didn't know this channel existed because <laughs> it's been so many months since I went to my Discord server that they had a uh, political discussion, I guess, sub channel on, on my Discord channel. And obviously there was some stuff in it that a lot of people would find offensive. Now they did have it marked, not safe for work. And you did have to be age verified to be in that room. You had to prove you were at least 18 to be in that room. But why are people creating this on my server? Well, it's not their fault. The, the people that want to discuss politics and religion on my Discord channel, I don't blame those guys because... They were free to do whatever they want because I was never there. <laughs> so I really don't blame the people that wanted to talk, you know, some of this off color stuff, you know, politics and religion and things like that. I don't really uh, I'm not angry at the people that got mad about some of the discussions taking place. The people that are messaging me, I can understand how some of that stuff would offend some people. But really, at the end of the day, it was all my fault just having that discord channel and never being there. And if I'm never going to be there, and I know I'm never going to be there, I mean, even going forward, I, I, just the idea of me sitting there, you know, even logging in a couple of times a week just to moderate things, I don't want to do it. It's a, it's a headache and it's something I would absolutely hate doing. So I just deleted the entire Discord server. So there's no longer a DistroTube Discord channel. Now, I do have an IRC channel, just like Discord. I'm never in my IRC channel. Now, unlike Discord, I can't actually delete an IRC channel because that's not the way IRC works. The way IRC works is uh, I, there's a channel there, the hashtag DistroTube over on the free node network. It will always be there as long as somebody's in the room. If we all leave, if I just banned everybody and then I left the room myself, th then the uh, DistroTube IRC channel would disappear. 
but all it would take is somebody just to join hashtag distrotube again and the channel would be recreated. So you can't really delete an IRC channel. So I'm just going to put this out there as a warning. I'm never in my IRC channel. I don't know what goes on there. I don't want to know what goes on there. And if you may be offended about things that go on there, I would advise you guys just don't go to my IRC channel. I wish there was a way to delete it, but there's just not because anybody could just recreate a DistroTube IRC channel anyway. That's just the nature of the way that particular technology works. One thing I did a couple of months back, those of you that have been visiting distrotube.com, my website, I did have a web form up on it at one point. I've since shut that down, mainly due to spam reasons, not because of people, you know, posting weird things on it. But at, at the end of the day, I probably am not going to have any kind of social uh, interaction with you guys on a platform that I personally run because I can't deal with you know, people getting mad at each other. So if you guys want to interact with me on like a social platform, Mastodon. Mastodon has always been my social network of choice. Look for DistroTube over at Mastodon.technology and you can always message me there. Those of you that are patrons of the channel, of course, you can always message me on Patreon and I actually get those uh, email notifications. If you message me on Patreon, you know, it'll come up on my phone as well. And other places you could message me. I do have a Reddit account, so you could message me on Reddit. Uh, I don't hang out on Reddit all the time, though. The best places, if you just wanted to, to message me about something, though, is probably either Mastodon or Patreon. One final thing I, I do want to say, those of you that did hang out on the DistroTube Discord channel, and there were a few people that were regulars there, they hung out there all the time, you know, no hard feelings as far as you guys hanging out there, I, I didn't shut down the channel because of your behavior, I shut it down for my behavior, I should have been there all the time, but you guys that were hanging out there, and you maybe you guys became friends, those of you that hung out there regularly, I advise you guys to go create your own Discord server. You know, you create a different name that has nothing to do with me. <laughs> that way, if people have problems with anything you guys do with your Discord server, they message you and not me about it. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank a few special people. I'd like to thank the producers of this episode. These are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. I'm talking about Devin, Fran, Gabe, Corbinian, Mitchell, Akami, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, David, The Other David, Donnie, Dylan, Gregory, Lewis, Paul, Pick Me, Yum, Scott, and Willie. They are the producers of this episode. I would also like to thank each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. This ever-growing list of names you're seeing on the screen right now. These are all of my supporters over on Patreon because without you guys, I couldn't have made it through 2020. I gotta be honest. So a sincere thank you to each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.